Hey guys, um, welcome back to another edition of the Shonda Friends Play. We are back on Pokemon. Night. We are doing, um, Polar Night. Polar Night. Level. And once again, my as three, we are here with Caleb. As if it wasn't already on this. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. It, it, it's been doing that when I play Pokemon. I don't know why. I just don't know why. Fortunately, you guys have to take a talk with it, it's a little bit more for you, so it's more cheese, so... Oh, that's so good. Yeah, if it isn't obvious, this is an ice level. You're looking for an ice level, and uh, just like any ice level, it's more slippery. Yeah. So, it's not like that. Yeah. 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 Also, I don't think you took any damage while doing that. No, they're not. Just taking the damage Anyways, if if I if if I'm quiet and uh, for a He's bit, watching um, a I'm watching a video real quick. Um, it's just a uh, video. It's, it's, it's just a video for me. I because I'm uh, after this video, I'm probably going to uh, do a video on X4. Um, so yeah, um, and I'm making sure I cover my bases because I don't. Because usually whenever I do let's plays, I don't want to go in blind. I want to. I want to go in knowing what I need to do. And this is just really a refresher for me because I have played all the X games except for X7, which I, I openly admit because. No, you played it. Well, I played it. I just never beat it myself because I just don't like X7. X7 is not my favorite ever in the X series. So yeah. But anyways, um, as you can see throughout all the throughout all the uh, all the levels, there's many different variations of the same enemies. Like here we have a ice wizard, I think. Ice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, ice wizard. And we get gold. 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 Yep. And obviously gold is always good, always swell. Uh, unless you're doing a challenge where you can't collect a single one. Well, true. But if, you, but, if, but if you are doing that, but if you are doing that specific challenge and you want an easier time, you really want to get the, the the gold so that you can get upgrades in the towns that we've been doing recently. So yeah. I've actually seen Caleb play this game before he did the let's play, but um, um, there's one part of the level that's really kind of tricky from what I've seen. Yeah, it would be if I didn't have this too long. Yep. Oh, it's the end game. I don't like it. It's like, ooh, it's the end game. Yep. Yep. That's right, whenever we get to the Enchantress. Yeah, I think the second to last stage, I don't know what stage it is. I haven't played this game in a while. Yep. Yeah, but that part is uh, not fun. What? Oh, yes. Also, you got your um, kind of Hammer Bro kind uh, of character. Nice. Why is a trap it seems like? It's like the game's like, you just activated my trap card. Well, you just activated a trap. Okay. Now we get Another, a horn. We get the horn. We get a war horn, specifically. Which, I've actually, whenever I play this, this is actually my favorite weapon in the whole game. For this specific reason. My favorite weapon. And also, it's sometimes some magic. Yep. Yep. And and obviously another reason why I liked it so much because it has such a big wide range of effects, so 
enemies that you wouldn't think would be hit by the horn would be hit by the horn. Yeah, but it costs a lot to use, so we basically damage it. Okie dokie. Moving forward. In line. Like we usually do. Alright. Hmm. Oh, well. And I just get to that, because they respawn in this area. Yep. Uh, most of the time, that one didn't. At least they don't have, at least in this game, there's no thing as, 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 uh, those ridiculous spawn points. As, as you know, if you if you played a specific X game, on meaning X7, the, uh, the, uh, spawn point in X7 isn't that great. Just say. Oh no, all of them have their issues. Yeah. Some more, um, Yeah, all of them have their issues. Yeah. But, uh, but that won't be until later. Like said, X7 we won't be playing. I know I've been speaking about it a while, and it's gonna be a long time since it went until me and Caleb were gonna play X7. But, uh, we? Uh, yeah. I'm the one playing it. We, we fly as like Well, yeah, but like I said, it won't be a while until we get into that game. But, uh, when we do, you'll you'll understand what I'm talking about, uh, when, uh, when we get to there. The enemy spawn points are kind of bad in that game. <laughs> Get on that dragon thing and hop on them as you saw. And that's how you do that. Nope. Also, invincibility frames. Don't forget those. They will save you. <laughs> and now on to the boss, I believe. Yep, boss. Yes, Polar Knight. Polar Knight. Right there. Yeah. Moving on. Moving on. Moving
will say this boss is pretty unique. I like, so I like this fighting style. He, uh, as you saw, he can teleport. He can shoot lightning balls. And he does a windstorm. Yep. And yeah, so I guess you can say he's a uh, very um, versatile. Yeah, versatile. All right. And just like any optional boss, you get gold. A lot of gold. I got a lot of gold. And a cutscene, well, yeah. And money. Even more money. I believe it is, I believe based on how much health you have, you will get more money. Yep. So I'm assuming you do a perfect run on him. I don't know, you get a lot. Now, actually the fun fact about this is, you don't technically have to fight Black Knight here. You can, you can, you can skip him. You can entire, if you can, you can avoid him, but there will be times where you won't have to fight him. Yeah. Like right now. Yep. And uh, this is the part of the game where there's more than meets the eye. Basically, Black Knight kind of gets an upgrade, I guess you could say. A bit. No, that's the next fight. That's the final one. Oh, that's yeah, right. He does get. And later, he yeah. does. Definitely, I think he has more attacks this time though yes, than last time. So this is definitely a, a bit more upgraded Black Knight. So I mean, I wouldn't say he's easier or harder than last time, but definitely has more different attacks. He has the Hadoop, he can shoot Hadoop no, out, uh, out of his uh, trouble. I mean, they're basically with perfect Hadoop, so I mean. And we get gold! I mean, hey, gold is always good. Yeah, but by this point, you pretty much have you don't almost need everything. Yeah. Alright. Now on to... Uh, the color night. You can fight any <coughs> in any order. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what order you go in, we're just doing this order because I guess we just want to. And uh, I also imagine because the Color Knight stage is kind of annoying. It's a little bit. Yeah, I guess it's whenever I play Shovel Knight, this level is kind of annoying. <laughs> then again, uh, when it comes to platformers, I, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm the best platforming uh, gamer ever. I mean, I, I mean, I, I played Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic Adventure 1 and Mario and. Yeah, but those are more of the, uh, easy, easy Yeah. Little secret area you can go to. Oh, I even played Mega Knight for Pizza, and you can technically say it's a platformer. It is. It is. It's untenable. It is. Money. Again, by this point, there are very little things I need. Not really, not really much reason to get gold at this point. No. Yep. Alright. The only annoying thing to me are these enemies. Yeah, those uh, little propeller bow staff looking things. They will be very annoying in uh, the later part of the level. Oh, this is kind of very annoying. There's a cannons that you can hop, which you can uh, obviously use your pogo on. Very yeah. You know, that's another thing too. I mean, if, if this is real, those cannons, those cannonballs would explode as soon as you hit them with your shovel. Uh, I would imagine it takes more than a shovel to bomb the place. Well, considering those are, they are cannonballs, they do explode, so. There have been, there have been cannonballs that have been found to not explode and hit something. Then again, those are duds, so. Yeah. Alright. Not really necessary, but we get it anyway. Get good money. I wonder if there's an achievement for getting maximum yes. amount of gold. No, there isn't. And here's the mini boss, a airship with three goons on it. Yep. And obviously they keep on dropping bombs, but 
if you didn't have the if you didn't have any of the any of the items, the real only way that to hit them was by jumping on them would be the bombs and they drop. Oh, you can hit them. Yeah. The bombs just have out. They do more damage. They do damage. They do damage too. Yeah. Yeah, more money. I mean, there's one less armor I can get. Yep. And I think a couple more upgrades. Wow. When do you ever see that in games when the enemies actually help you? When do you ever see that in the game? Oh, wait. I actually will say this though, um, well here's the, uh, I think, is this like the second to last item that you can get in the game? Yep. Well, yeah, this is the propeller blade, or... Propeller blade. Yeah. Come on. Propeller dagger. Yeah, propeller dagger. But, like I said in the last episode, um, yeah, propeller dagger basically, it propels you forward. It's basically this game's equivalent to the air dash in the, in the X series. It's very, very limited in what you can do. So basically, get the propeller. Basically, go long story short, get the propeller dagger because it'll be. It might just save your sanity. Secret special special levels and play to healer. So this level kind of hard to get. This is a little hard. What? Wait, you never? Wait, you don't remember the, the level in Super Mario World when you get to the star? Like after you get the star? No, not really. I haven't played it. One reason why I know about it because I've seen it on the internet. I've never actually made it to the special world in Super Mario World. I have seen it on you, I have seen it on you. too fast or either die from falling or die from spikes. Either way you don't wanna don't wanna get hit. Alright. Either spikes you don't wanna fall on the hurt. Here comes the more stressful variant. Alright. Oh and this one, yep. And this one you have to be a bit more faster than the other one. If you do have to this is where probably invincibility frames could save you if you if you didn't get that timing right. If you get hit by that ride, that's what and the yeah, death touch might not kill you. And that's it. Alright, and now after that checkpoint we'll be going to oh, for color nights. Yep. 
Yeah. If you want to read the text, just slow the, the, the video down to one two five speed. Here's the problem nine. Well, he, uh, well, it seems like he's, uh, has a pretty simple finish point pattern. He just does that and does that as well, so. I mean, hey, uh, it looks like he does give you a lot of ground, a lot of, uh, a lot of air time, so you can just do that. Or just do that, because that makes him really easy. And here we go. And he did it here. Also, he drops a rose when he dies. Yep. He doesn't die, he's not him out. Yeah, knock him out, yeah. He's not him out. Yep. And now on to the last night. Alright! <sighs> Why does that guy look like Link? Okay, so I guess it's called the Viking. Yeah. Oh, and that's a way to replenish your, your, uh, your, um, magic. Yeah. Really? If you were low on magic, anyways. And now, for the other. It is all gone, absolutely worthless. There is no reason to get it. Other than just, just saying that you have it. It's more of a cosmetic. Yep. Yeah. Doesn't change anything. So yeah. It gives you a flashy jump. Yeah. Not all the time, but it does give you one. Uh, it isn't until the uh, other two nights that they actually do some kind of cosmetic thing. Yeah. Well, the other three nights, it's a little more than just a cosmetic. It actually does do stuff. You get different jumps though. That's pretty cool. Yep. yep. Also, Tinker Knight, so uh, this is the Lysis' level, as, uh, you know, being a, I think Tinker Knight, like, he's like a repairman, so this, this level really does he's a, he's a builder. Builder, yeah, so. Build stuff. Yeah. So it definitely fits his, uh, his character. Alright, and now, let's see, this is the last night. After this, I'm gonna put the other armor back on. Yeah. I think the only real, I mean, besides the glitter, I think it, it might also enhance your jump a little nope. bit. It does not. Oh, it doesn't. It just gives you a flashy jump. Yep. Yep. That's all it does. Basically, the, basically the only reason to get this armor is just to say I have it. You have it. The other armors do a little more. They give a little more mer merit than actually did, though. They do a make you more flashy than this one. Yep. That's pretty much it. It just makes you look even flashy. Bare minimum. It's only one stage though, so you, you don't have to do it every stage. That would be 
too much. Also, also, if you, also, if, if you truly play this game a lot, um, I think there's also a, uh, a achievement, like in Mega Man X10, no, no, sorry, in Mega Man 10, that, uh, I believe there's one that says, like, don't, like, play through the entire game without getting hit once. Which... Uh, no, that's, that's just gonna happen. Yeah. There is one where you don't die. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I know in I know in Mega Man 10 there's a, there's an achievement you can get if you get if you don't get hit once. Yeah, and you're never gonna see me do that. And now we get the mobile gear. The mobile gear, which should be the final the final weapon, right? Yep. If you don't get any other weapons, this is it. <laughs> Depending on which one you go to, this is the final one. Come through. Yep. And uh, somehow you can jump with it. It's basically the weapon kind of reminds me of uh, what's that thing? The top spinner from 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 Twilight Princess, except it's 2D. Yeah, it does a little more. It does an interesting thing to the boss. Yep. It does an interesting thing to the boss. Yep. Oh, oh well. And that's why I have the other armor on because it helps with the knockback. Yep. Yeah. It does, it, this is the only one it does, this is the only weapon that actually has a, a genuine effect on the boss. Yep. Well, that, well, that was my fault, I tried to, I used the wrong one. <laughs> yep. That'll explain it. There we go. Now I have the right one. Alright. Of course, since you died already, you can't get those uh, uh, money back that you lost here. Well, nope. unfortunately. Nope. All that matters. Okay, there's like one thing, there's like a couple things left I need to buy so that you can. Okay. Plus, every stage does give you more than enough gold to get something. True, sure, true. Sure. By the way, I'm pretty sure a lot of Mega Man fans can tell you that uh, the Battle Blade is, is a straight up old It's broken. It's for the wrong reason. Straight up old tier. Yeah. Yep. A little out of the way, but it wasn't worth 
Alright. And now we get an upward rolling of this. We have Earl that is a, a uh, what would this be called? Horizontal, a horizontally moving level? Because horizontal is, you know, right, no, horizon is, it would be vertical, vertical, because horizon is up to right. Face off against Tinker Knight. Yep. He was off doing some work. Yep. And might I add, he's he is the smallest knight, however. Don't 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 let his small stature fool you. You're saying. It is the only boss that does that, where I mean, you can just one shot. Him. Yep. And then he just gets a giant mech. Yep. If you wonder what it's run by, but... Huh, yeah. Wait, what is this run by? Obviously the most ideal thing. Oh. Okay. The TV went out. Um, I know y'all didn't see that, but we did. Um, the TV went out. Um, yeah. Just do this. That's all we do. Fortunately, I don't think... Yeah, yeah. the TV going out doesn't doesn't appear on my Elgato, so... Yeah. Fortunately, I don't think we really took any damage, so... And... Take your night is dead. Yep. And here comes the most difficult part of the game, the end game. Yep. Where uh, if you're doing new game plus, ergo you do hard mode, this next part is going to uh, destroy you. Yep. Specifically the boss rush. Yep. And just the last area in general because you take twice as many hit points. Yep. Anyways, and just like. Last episode, here we are again with the dream of Shield Knight now falling. Shield Knight stuff. falling from the heavens. I don't want to use the form. Yeah. Sometimes they back to that. What? Oh, I got a big one back. Form. Boom. Boom. Be accomplished. I Boom. Boom. Come here. Can see flip. Yep. And, and we got a meal ticket again. The very last meal ticket of the game. Alright. And it, this is the last one. Like, you cannot get it. You can't get any more after this. Yep. This is it. What you have is what you get. And then it's time to switch to the other arm. And right. then the overworld music changes. Yep. And it stays like that throughout the whole game. Yeah. Oh, I guess there is a and that's another kind of. I don't know if it was because I timed the jump right or because I had the suit. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna say either or. Yep. The last one is uh, whatever something that, that is. is edible. <laughs> whatever that is. And now, in order to get the last one, eight thousand. Alright, time to go to the next city. Let's see if it is because of the suit. Yes, it is because of the, is suit. Because of the suit. So, it does somewhat have a purpose, I guess. Let's a very, very minuscule purpose, but... Oh, I still need to buy another. There's still three more suits I have to get. I forgot about that. Yeah. I did forget about it. Yeah. Not like it matters. Yeah. I'm done here. You can do these to get gold, but I'm not going to. Alright. Also, we're at 34 minutes, by the way. Alright. We can power through this. Hopefully. Yep. Let's go shoveling. Oh. So, now we're on to the final two stages. Which, uh... As three stages. As, yeah, the, the, in, the final three stages. And as Caleb said, these, these seem to be pretty challenging, so... Yes. And I got the Anchor of the Rule, meaning I get everything back, HP and magic. Nice. Yeah. Oh. Alright. And what do you get the books from? Uh, Sector 
Basically, the, basically the way that Kayla's probably going about this, this is basically the same level of annoyance that I had with whenever I fought Kaiser Sick by. Oh no, it's and, way and, more and, annoying. Yeah, when I fought Kaiser Sick by next three. Oh no, it's way more annoying. That final area gets me shit every time. <laughs> every time, no matter how good I get at the game, yeah. just. Yep. Yep. Alright. Also, make sure um, you don't die if you don't die and you gain so plus at this point because it, it hurts to die. Yeah, I think why is it because like you the checkpoints are reduced. What are checkpoints? They are, are reduced? like largely reduced. Yeah. So you always want to stay on your toes then on this yes. part if you're That's playing true. if you're playing the new game plus hard mode. Ooh. Bubbles from uh, what was it? Um, just bubbles. Yeah. And that from Treasure Knight. Yeah, Treasure Knight. Treasure Knight. Again, I played this game a lot. Yes. On the Except, 3DS specifically. Yeah. Except I knew I knew it was from Treasure Knight. I just couldn't I couldn't like, get his name out. Oh. Anyways. Uh, and there we go. All right. The first level is usually easier. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah. All right. King Knight. King Knight and some of Plague Knight. Plague Knight. Yeah. And you did say there was a boss rush mode, so. No, it's not a mode. It's a uh, part of the area. Part of the area. Not this one. So I think it's the next one. Yep. Well, I mean, at some point, it's gonna be a boss rush mode. Well, oh, boss rush, not a mode. I'm being careful because I don't want to hit that by accident. Yep. I don't think you can reflect that those arrows back. There's a very few things you can reflect back to enemies. Yep. Also, I think these are new enemies. Yes, they are, are new to this area. Yeah, those are new enemies, like the archers and the. Uh, Sword and stuff. Yep. Alright. Now we're back to the darkness. So this time the, the, the background is green. Actually, more of lime green, actually. It's green. It's a type of green. Oh. And if you're wondering where a music sheet could be in this stage, if you haven't found it, it is. It's down there. Thanks. Yep. Yep, down there in that well. You probably you probably wouldn't have known that was you there will unless not know that. You, you wouldn't have known that was there unless if you like tried uh, well, it. Well I mean granted there are it, it, it does give you a sign of fish, but you probably get you think you get something. Yeah. Here comes another annoying part of this. Our enemy makes a return. An enemy makes a return. Yep. The propeller, guys. I'm <laughs> more they don't. Yep. Alright. Here's the checkpoint. Oh, the last, checkpoint the first boss of the, uh, the continent. The Black Knight. Yep. And as we said, he does get an upgrade. This is where he gets an upgrade. This is where he's very different from the last two uh, fights. Yeah, in this fight, he actually goes, I'd say, all out. He goes all out with a little boost in magic. Oh. Yeah, he has like the he has like the deep 
Now he has like the, the tele instead of the Hadoukens now, he also has the teleports that Kakuma has. Uh, it's just a teleport. It's just a standard teleport. But and he also wings. can grow wings. Now he has wings. Yeah. So he, I guess he turned into an angel, I guess? No. He just has wings. He don't have to be an angel to have wings. Yeah, don't touch those, because they will hurt you. Alright. That's why. Got him. Got him. Alright. And the last time... We fight him. Black Knight. Yeah, because after this, Black Knight is done. Never well, see him again. No, we see him. Oh, yeah, you do see him. Yeah, we see him at yeah. the end of the game. <laughs> Thus, the last two stages of the game commence. Yep. All right, 41 minutes. Oh boy. Now. All right, so uh, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the comment on the screen. Hit the notification bell for some more awesome content. Uh, in the next part, we will continue on to the gauntlet and uh, finish this game. All right, guys.